Hi Gemini, this is your monthly tarot cards reading by Emma for the month of August 2021. I'm going to have a four cards representing four weeks and I am from there. So four cards for you, Gemini, death is the first one. Two of swords, the moon. Knight of Cups, your influencing energy, King of Pentacles. We're going to comment on it just now. So, Death, I'll pair with Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords with the Chariot, the Moon with the Moon. Knight of Cups with Four of Wands. Six of Pentacles with King of Pentacles. Somebody is helping you. Somebody helped you. Okay. Um, job offer related to money. Money situation. Somebody helped you. Suddenly you received that amount of money from your father. From somebody who is business person. Somebody who is uh, serious. Somebody older one. Okay. Um, you did receive help. That's what you were in a need. You did receive from this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person, or your father, somebody like that. Um, offer of job offer goes with these two negotiations about money, about the job, could also apply to this um, energies in here. But that was in July. Very much affects this month as well. Um, that kind of negotiation, that help that you received. That energy is something you are leaving behind, definitely, and something that you expected that it will be over. You wanted to be over. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, situation that's supposed to go away. You were expecting it, perhaps for quite some time, because something new is on your mind, something very practical. Three of Pentacles, we all talking private business, new business, new career, new opportunities, something that you really like doing. This is practical work, or uh, doing it with, with um, some group of people, group of people in here, uh, people that are noticing your skill. But this is very young, very new energy, and you like it. That is on your mind. That is within you, Gemini. You want to do it. You are happily doing these new things, new skill, new knowledge, new business, something like that, very practical. And happily, happily, you are leaving something behind. That is your first, that is your first week of August. That acknowledgement that, that what you used to do, okay, you don't have to do anymore. It died down. It left your life. You were onto something new. And the chariot, look, three of pentacles and chariot, that is also, with, that is all within you, okay? That clear goal, that what uh, you would love to do, that what you are preparing yourself to do. This is very competitive energy, um, energy of competitor, okay? Of uh, one who is um, competing in this race, Symbolically, all right, with the chariot, but what I'm saying, you are preparing, you are training, you are bringing um, stuff that you need, you are preparing for yourself for something that you clearly see, that you, you will be doing, you will be successful, but this is kind of time for preparations all within you, okay? You don't have doubts, you don't have obstacles with this energy, okay? Whatever that you see, that is your goal, that you want to do, yes, you can do it, okay? Perhaps a time. Timing is not there. You are very quiet about it. You don't want people to know. Nobody knows about what are you all about, what are you doing, what are you preparing yourself for. Second week of August, you don't want people to know. Okay, you, you are not expressing yourself. Perhaps you are not ready. Preparations are not done. You are not perhaps onto it. You are not materializing yet with that new skill, with that new idea, with that new business, whatever that is new, something very enjoyable is there. And you definitely see opening for, for yourself there. Okay, this is open road with this chariot, but you are still on that starting line, preparing yourself, training. <laughs> um, you see what I'm saying? Nobody really knows about it. You don't want people to know uh, for some reason whether that you are not ready yet, okay, to manifest with this idea, or just you don't want to jinx the situation, <laughs> for whatever reason, you are secretive about it. Now, 
maybe um, because um, this energy is very protective, self-protective, okay? Maybe you don't want people to be nasty, to say something that you don't want to hear, um, that going to be maybe rude or offensive. This one protects the heart. You don't want to be offended um, for some reason. Um, fear it goes with two of swords, a little bit of fear, definitely. Anyway, for whatever reason you are not bringing it up in your environment, your surrounding, uh, it doesn't know about your ideas, about your plans. Anyway, third week is the moon, all about moon. Very similar. You are hiding things. You are preparing yourself. You are all about preparation. This is a long winding road in here, in the dark. Things are not all clear to you, okay? You do understand that you have to prepare yourself. You, want, you don't want people to know what are you doing. And even if you tell them, you won't tell them exactly. Perhaps because you don't even know exactly what are you doing. But you are preparing yourself. I do see you preparing totally, uh, diligently yourself for something. Something that's, I don't know, supposed to take you, supposed to take you uh, further in your life. Something that is very meaningful, major, corners, end of the road is a daylight here, okay? Something that's supposed to mean different life for you. Something different, something where it's going to be much brighter, much happier for you. For now, there is preparation, things to learn, things to, um, to, to, to get these facts, okay? There's no facts, there's no certainty with this moon energy. Also, a little bit of fear, you know, will you manage, will you grasp this matter? You know, it seems to me something, it's maybe lots of details that you have to put together, maybe something to learn as well. Um, facts that you that do not depend on you, things that are not depending on you, okay, that you are actually facing, I don't know, through other people, through government institutions. You see what I'm saying? Could be many factors here are playing their role with the moon card. And you still supposed to face them, recognize them, deal with them. You know, long road, long preparations, third week of August. But look, fourth week is coming with um, this Knight of Cups. That's offer of friendship, offer of love. Um, Pisces, maybe, person in your life. But by all means, this is quite, quite a jolly energy. Let's have a good time. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. This is also a card for celebration. Something, I don't know, fourth, fourth week will bring something that is certain. Some sort of success, okay? Maybe some um, irrelevant, something... Uh, um, that is not connected with all of this dynamic. I really felt that everything is connected till up until this fourth week of um, August. This could maybe stand on its own while you're waiting, while you're preparing yourself. Maybe you have somebody, I don't know, some suitor, the offer of love, maybe something like that, because it's very lovely energy. Something is celebrated in here. Birthday, marriage, uh, um, engagement something is a celebrating home card also you know feeling good about yourself comfort zone first success we might actually connect this card to everything else that you were at that first plot of success but somehow i felt that this fourth week is just standing on its own that you were busy with something something very major i really see lots of major arcanas and it's death chariot the moon cards around you are preparing yourself you know exactly what you just don't want to bring it up but you are very thorough in here, okay? And you are enjoying yourself, enjoying it. You don't want people to know until, until it's known, okay? And I believe that is standing on its own, that side. But this one, fourth week, I just believe it's a good time that you're going to have with somebody, that it will be about some birthday party, some celebration. Maybe you're going to meet somebody down there, somebody who's really charming, you know, um, somebody that you will like, somebody will like you. And that is this comfort zone that is feel good card celebrating enjoying the moment enjoying this moment with the four of um, wands with another one as i said a pisces maybe for you um anyway um gemini enjoy your month of august